right, so let's start with what normal anatomy is supposed to look at, look like. Uh, this is showing jugular veins. Actually, this is showing a co-dominant jugular vein system. Both sides, jugular veins are in front of the transverse processes of atlas. Styloid processes are way up here. And I do like this particular anatomy. And now let's show what this gentleman looks like. Okay, so here we see styloid on the right in front of the jugular, completely in front of the jugular. And the one on the left, we're going to call this the sweeping jugular. This styloid is shaped to where it sweeps the jugular over to the right and outside. So every time he brings his head down, it takes, it takes the whatever structures are over here, we know the jugular for sure, and it brings it to the side. Let's, let's show you that. So here you can see how it's going to sweep it. There's, and also when he brings his head down, he knocks his atlas out. The, jug, the styloid is pushing through the jugular, of course, it's closing it entirely, pu and pushing the atlas back. You can even see how it's sitting uh, posterior on C2. Today we adjust his atlas from the front and from the left to, to move it back from, uh, from, where, from once it came. And of course the cere cerebral spinal fluid flows through there, so we don't want any turbulence in there. And once we adjusted him, all that cleared up today. Uh, he also has a CSF leak, and we expect that to improve as well. Uh, but ultimately, the styloids do need to be removed. Uh, we can't have him bringing his head down and sweeping the jugular around and off to the side. Look at that. There's the left. There's the right. So clearly, when he brings his head down, the jugular is between a rock and a hard place. All right, thank you.